I wanted to discuss with you is those trombone lessons that you gave me. <laughs> you left me with that That's slide. Non, non-refundable. You, you left me with that slide cream. I'm so dirty I can't touch myself anymore. Ooh. I have to wear surgical gloves to take a shower. Once upon a time, the three jollies made a fine blackberry and apple pie. Mmm, that sounds good. Can you see this? Did you know that the Taco Bell dog has the same name as you? What are you wearing? Um, a pair of pants and a shirt. Oh, that's good. Me too. Uh -huh. We have so much in common. Can I ask you how you got clean and sober? Um, yeah, sure. I, uh, I just got tired of, uh, it's a long, long story. Uh, rehabs, jails, you know, um, in, in, insane asylums. Do you vote? Um, I have, um, I didn't. Mm, listen to me, I'm getting all political, like I could give a shit. Have any perverts called you today, or has it been low key? Um, yeah, people call up, they want to know about, you know, bestiality and stuff like that. Do I like drag oh, queens better, or do I like guys better? Yeah, do you like <laughs> guys or chicks better, and which are your favorite guys? Well, I mean, ultimately, I like girls, you know, the real deal. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, I love shemales and trainees, because it's all about, like, theatrics. I have, like, two modes of songwriting like suicidal and homicidal yeah yeah and now you're into the suicidal yeah mm -hmm. i don't feel very rageful you know more like uh melancholy oh, that's good. Yeah. when i was a little okay. kid my stepdad used to tell me stories about this guy ed Gein, and uh and i was like fat i was like a little kid like seven or eight years old and he used to yeah, tell me about this th this guy that uh used to, you know, he would, like, dig up bodies, and he would, like, you know, wear women's clo skin as clothing, and, uh... And it was just Everyone said he was really nice, though, so he's just, like, a sociopath. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. My it's dad like... said he was a good gardener. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> and, 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 uh, when he lived at the yeah. house place. Yeah, I heard yeah, it was a good, he was a good cook. This is Gavin from South Africa. From South Africa? Yeah. Hey, this is Gidget. What's happening? Well, it's all alright here. We know about you. We think you are cool. Like the guy that goes and, and picks up a, a prostitute, like the hottest girl he's ever seen, he picks her up on the street and then he gets down and dirty and then finds out she has like a cock. That's kind of like what my art is like. It's like picking up like a female prostitute. You are very, very similar to a character. Uh, uh, what I think in the Back to the Future of George McFly. Oh, yeah, Crispin, <laughs> Crispin Glover, yeah. Yeah, I get that a lot. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from D.C. Wow, D.C. I did, I did time in D.C. What do you think of Jim Jones? Jim Jones, that Kool-Aid guy? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, Jim, Jim, I guess uh, he was pretty, uh, anybody that can get all those people to, like, kill themselves, it's, it's something. I think I could totally kill someone, but that kind of stuff. Well, I just right. wouldn't kill anyone. I don't think I, like, have any motive. So Mr. Fussy was going to spank him, well, who should come running about but Wally and Waggy? One golly has turned into three. Help, help, help. And he tore off at top speed, leaving the three gollies staring after him in astonishment. Poor Mr. Fussy. He did his best, didn't he? He always runs away when he sees a gollywog now. And really, I'm not surprised. Okay. Well, I'm going to go. All right. <laughs> hey, th thanks for calling. Keep in yeah. touch. Thank you for your time. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Would you please try your call again later? Welcome to this first behind the scenes feature at the film Flesh. I'm here with Gidget Gein, artist extraordinaire, who we've commissioned to paint an original concept of a wizard of Bathory. I'm not a scholar on uh, Countess Bathory. I'm too sort of like a modern day vampire. Mm -hmm. And I was into like all these moves and roles when I was a kid, so it was uh I guess it was very attractive to me as, as a young kid, like a real, real day vampire. And I thought I could like do it justice 
And I, I think it came out good, but usually when people ask me to do paintings, like commissions and stuff, I, I never feel finished. And I don't even know if this is finished, but I guess since I signed it, it's finished. I love the background, and uh, her face looks pretty spooky. Yeah, the picture I gave him to work off.